Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and right now in the QuickBooks point of sale we are going to go over some more settings and preferences. This time in company preferences we are going to talk about the purchasing preferences and that will have primarily to do with purchase orders. So before I do that, don't forget to click the link below and jump over to Facebook. Join our special QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group where you can ask about how to do stuff or problems you're having in point of sale or errors, whatever. Uh, go ahead and post there and people such as myself or other point of sale users will answer your questions. Subscribe right now if you're on YouTube so you can get all the new latest greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos on our channel each day. We're releasing a lot of them. Right now I'm gonna go on the file menu to preferences and company. And then on the left hand column we are going to go to purchasing. Here we are in purchasing. There's just a few settings here and they all have to do with purchase orders. First, your purchase order numbering method. By default this is just a simple number. It's just starting at one and it, one, two, three, four, five, you know. However, you can make your purchase order number different. Here's some of the default selections you can choose. We have vendor name with a number, vendor code with a number, associate name with a sequential number. Uh, that would be whoever's making the purchase order, like if you want your employees to own it in your store. Uh, we also have store number in uh, a sequential number. That would be good if you're in multi-store or the date in a sequential number. And then the final one here is defining your own custom PO format. And this is very simple. If you choose that and then hit customize, uh, you can use any of the available fields as well as any static text you want. Um, we could do Pete's Boutique Space uh, you know sequential number and so you would just put that in like this sequential number and then that so you could put any field you want out of these you can combine them in any manner you please and then up here we see a little example of what i created peeps boutique five is the is the purchase order number now right here it's going to ask what we want to start the sequential number with so if you don't want to it's kind of like when you get a checkbook and you don't want to <laughs> start writing checks at the number one you order a higher number so if you don't want to seem like a brand new store that doesn't know what they're doing uh, you could you know you could start with number 905 for some reason here we can see Pete's Boutique purchase order number 90, 905 um, now this check mark right here is for resetting the automatic order numbering sequence when the order number is manually edited that means if you are creating a purchase order and you actually specify what number you want it to be while you're making the purchase order like let's say you type in uh, purchase order number 3000 when you're creating a purchase order then right if this is check marked right after that it'll go to 3001 3002 3003 if this is not checked then you could type in 3000 and the next one you create is automatically going to be 906 you know it's it's not going to reset the numbering now purchase order statuses you can create your own special sequence you know let's say it goes from open to ordered to um i don't know partially received to I don't know out at the barn or something <laughs> I don't know what weird custom purchase order statuses you might use but you can use whatever purchase order statuses you would like to move your purchase orders through your individual special customized workflow because you can create any stage you want and you can move them up and down so that they uh, go in the order that you would like them to go in Totally up to you. It's because you can personalize and customize your QuickBooks point of sale now last we have the printed Purchase order message and this might be something that you want all of your vendors to see on every order um, 
you know, this might be something like um, <clears throat> deliver to loading dock two or something like that, you know, something that you want to be very obvious that you want every single delivery to know about um, or call some number call some number with any questions so you're gonna save that and that is going to end up on every purchase order that you send to anybody in the bottom there printed purchase order message that's it we made it through purchasing preferences in quickbooks point of sale if you have any questions or comments don't forget to write those down below and we'll try and answer them as best we can my name's peter with black rock business and i hope you have yourself an excellent day all right bye